Hi, I'm Marty Chan, a kids author, playwright, and storyteller. Welcome to the TD Summer Reading Club Online. I know the world looks a little different right now with people trying to stay safe and stay home. So the TD Summer Reading Club decided to come into your homes with videos from different authors and presenters to get you excited about reading books all summer long. I'm going to be telling you about one of the books on the list, my book, Kung Fu Master. In this video, you'll learn a little bit about the book, how I came up with it, and if you stick around to the end, I've got a bonus for those of you who want to read more. When I was a kid, people thought I was really good in math and science, and they also thought that because I was Chinese, I had to know Kung Fu. It all came out of a movie that played when I was a kid. It was called Enter the Dragon. All the kids at school saw this movie, which starred this amazing martial arts movie star. His name was Bruce Lee. And as soon as all the kids saw Bruce Lee, they thought he was the coolest guy in the world. And for some reason, they thought anybody who was Chinese had to know Kung Fu, just like Bruce Lee. So when the kids saw me at school, they automatically thought that I had to be a Kung Fu master. Now the truth is, I didn't know any Kung Fu at all, but I liked the idea of being the center of attention, so I lied and I said, yes, I am a Kung Fu master. The problem is, if you tell a lie, people want you to show or prove that it's the truth. And I had all these kids surrounding me and begging me to teach them some of my Kung Fu moves. Today, I could solve that problem very easily. I could go online and look up YouTube videos with Kung Fu masters showing and teaching their moves. I could copy those moves and hold up the idea that I was actually a Kung Fu master. Unfortunately, I am old enough that when I was a kid, there was no such thing as YouTube or the internet or even computers. Yeah, I am that old. But the one thing that saved me is that my mom and dad, they would go to Chinatown every couple of weeks to get groceries for the house and they would stop at a Chinese movie theater that played old Kung Fu movies. One of the movies I saw was called Snake in the Eagle's Shadow. And it starred a young Jackie Chan. Now Jackie Chan played a character who didn't know any Kung Fu at all, but he came across an old Kung Fu master who was trained in the style of the snake. If you're not familiar with Kung Fu, they base their moves on different animals. So you could strike with tiger claws or eagle's talons. A crane can strike with long arms like wings. And the snake would strike with their hands shaped like a snake head. Jackie Chan's Kung Fu master, also known as a Sifu in Chinese, a teacher is called a Sifu. Jackie Chan's Sifu was trained in the style of the snake. And he was going to teach Jackie Chan how to fight like a snake Kung Fu master. But the way he learned Kung Fu didn't even look like Kung Fu training. Because the way that Jackie Chan Sifu taught him the style of the snake is with a glass bowl. He balanced the bowl on the back of his hand. He said, grab this bowl from my hand. When Jackie Chan tried to grab it, his Sifu would toss it up and do all these cool Kung Fu moves to keep the glass bowl away from Jackie Chan. When I saw that scene in the movie, I thought, oh man, if I could do that move, all the kids at school will think I'm a true Kung Fu master. So what I did was I went into the kitchen. I opened up the cupboard and I pulled out my mom's favorite glass bowl. Now I know what you're thinking, Marty, don't do it, you're gonna break it. Well, that went through my brain. I thought, you know what? If I am going to do some Kung Fu training, I better not practice with my mom's favorite glass bowl. So what I did was I went into my bedroom, rooted through the room to find something that wasn't so breakable, and I found this, a ball. Because, you know, if a ball falls, 
it's not going to break. So I decided to use the ball as part of my training. And in the movie, what Jackie Chan had to do was he had to balance the ball on the back of one hand. And with his other hand shaped like a snake head, he had to shoot the hand under the ball or the bowl and catch it on the back of his other hand. So I decided to do that. And here we go. You're going to see my training session. I did this over and over again until I started getting really good with it, right? And I'd start tossing the ball around, making sure that I could catch it on the back of my hand. And after a certain point, I thought, you know what? I'm ready to go from the ball to the bowl. Would you guys like to see that? I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure your moms don't. <laughs> All right, here we go. Balancing the bowl on the back of my hand. Now, before I do this, one morning, do not try this at home. Please, please do not try this at home. If you are going to try it, don't use a glass bowl. Use something non-breakable, a ball, a stuffy, your cat. No, no, don't use your cat. <laughs> use something non-breakable. Okay, here we go. You know what? Maybe I should just read the book to you guys. Would you like that? No? All right, here we go. Doing it for real. Ha! There we go. That little training sequence became the inspiration for my novel, Kung Fu Master. Kung Fu Master. Kung Fu Master? Kung Fu Master. Okay, as you might guess, there's a little bit of action in it and a little bit of comedy. And I thought what I would do is I'd give you a little taste of the book and give you a reading of that book. But to help me out, uh, I need like a reading partner. Um, I'm going to have to call up a, a friend of mine to see if they can help me out. Okay, so yeah, bear with me. Okay, so um, let's see if I can call him up. Hello? Uh, hey, Marty. I, I'm wondering if you can help me out. I'm, I'm doing a reading of Kung Fu Master. What scene are you reading? Well, I was thinking of the scene where everyone thinks that John is a science whiz. You know, the one where uh, he has to do that experiment in the classroom. I wish I could help you, but I'm working on something really important right now. Have you tried the other me? Oh, no, not yet. But thanks anyway. No problem. Good luck with the reading. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can get a hold of somebody else, okay? Hey! Hey! What's up? I'm doing a scene from Kung Fu Master. I was hoping you could help me do the reading. Oh, awesome! You should totally do the scene where John meets Megan. You know, the one with the uh, wicked Kung Fu moves? Oh man, that's a great scene. I hadn't even thought about that one. Yeah, I, I love the moves that she does in the Kung Fu studio. Awesome, you should totally do that. I love that scene. So, can you help me read it? I need you here right now. Sorry, I, I gotta take someone chopping. No? Okay, well, thanks anyway. Try the other Marty. Oh yeah, okay, I'll try the other Marty, thanks. Yeah, okay, good luck. Who is that? Uh, I was just talking to myself. You ready? Yeah, let's go to the mall. Hello? Hey, I want you to help me do a scene from Kung Fu Master. Oh yeah, I'm totally in. Yeah, yeah. You know what scene we should do? We should do that one where John and Parr are pretending to fight. Uh, well, I was thinking of doing a different scene. 
Oh, come on. It's a fun scene. Let's do it. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. How soon can you get here? I'm here. I was in the next room. All right, all right. So um, you need your copy of the book to read from? No, I wrote everything. I think I'm going to remember the lines. Uh, tell you what, I'll be John and the narrator. You get to be Par. Excellent. I get to do some Kung Fu. And now, a reading from Kung Fu Master. Par and I weren't the only ones who saw Feet of Fury. At school on Monday, everyone was buzzing about Ji Ling's acrobatic martial arts moves. Par tried to recreate a fight scene in which Ji Ling had taken out four guys while keeping his hands behind his back. In the movie, the scene played out like a ballet. In the school parking lot, Par looked more like a penguin trying to kick toilet paper off his foot. Hiya! Par shouted. Oh, you want some? Come and get it. Come on, John, spar with me. I don't know the first thing about Kung Fu. Wow! Tiger Claw. Oh, oh. Meep, beep, 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 beep. Meep, beep, beep. Ooh, 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 Drunken monkey stance. Oh. Hoom, hoom, hoom. Crane about to take flight. Whoa! <laughs> Teach me, Sifu. Please. I am in a sapling in your great shadow. <laughs> okay, okay, Par. Um, you must be like the willow in the wind. Never break but always bend. All right. I crouched and pulled my pants up, motioning at my friend to come at me. Beak of the eagle, about to snatch the early worm. Oh. I lifted my hand to ward off his blow. Then I pretended to strike him in the stomach. Oh yeah? Par, what are you doing? I saw Ji Ling do it in the movie. No, not even close. It was more like this. It was more like this. That's right. I'm a sloth climbing a tree. And a tire running out of air. And then the snake strikes the mongoose. A crowd of teens surrounded us. Now that is a reading from Kung Fu Master. My thanks to my reading partner. And hey, you guys all made it. Thanks for coming out. We got finished shopping early. I got a new book. Ooh, I can't wait to read it. Mine. Well, I really want to thank all of you for helping out. We wouldn't miss it for the world. Hey, does anyone know how to solve this thing?
The secret to success for any writer is to never give up. Always work on your manuscript to make the story better. Revise it, shape it, chip away at it until you have a story that people want to read. Trust me, if you keep at something, you'll always be able to make it better. In fact, uh, take a look at this thing that I've been trying to solve all video long, right? A Rubik's Cube completely mixed up and uh, I'm desperately trying to solve it just in the same way that when you work on a first draft, you're trying to put it into shape. Well, here's the thing. The more you work on your manuscript, the more you chip away at it, the better you'll get and the easier things will get until finally you'll be able to piece together a story that makes sense from the beginning to the middle to the end. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. My thanks to the TD Summer Reading Club for inviting me to make this video for you. I hope it gets you excited about reading my book, Kung Fu Master, which you should be able to find in the library or online or in the bookstores. For those of you who remember what I said at the beginning, now it's time for the bonus. I have a brand new book that's coming out online in July and in the bookstores in the fall. And I'm going to give you all a sneak peek at the cover of my brand new book, Haunted Hospital. This story is about four teenagers who decide to investigate an abandoned hospital. They hear rumors that ghosts are walking through the hallways of this abandoned building and they sneak inside to find out if the rumors are true. The truth they discover is far creepier than the legends they heard. That's Haunted Hospital, my brand new book coming out this fall. Watch for it in the library and in the bookstores. In the meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you fill your summer with reading. Take care. We'll see you around. Mm -hmm.